Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be showing you step-by-step -step on how to replace the power supply on HP desktop M01-F0016. So this is a desktop, and the front, it looks like this. So I suspect there was a power outage, and after the power outage, uh, the computer does not turn on anymore. So the like the first thing I like to do is to change out the power supply. Most of the time, when there was a power outage, power supply is the first thing that might get might have get shorted or blown out. All right. So let me show you step by step and how to do that. And if you find this video is helpful, please go ahead and give me a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And uh, I like, you know, I really appreciate that you're liking the video and supporting the channel. Here I'll be using a T15. This T15 torque screwdriver allows you to open up the screw. So let's go ahead and open up the side panel here. And once the screw is loose, you can slide the panel to your right. Here you can see that there's a black metal piece. This is like the support. Go ahead and remove that screw. Once you remove the screw, you can go ahead and lift this thing up, lift it straight up and then slide it away. It's kind of like a little lash right here. You see the three little sliding. So it's sliding to these three little holes, sliding and you need to lift it up to slide out. The next step I like to do is to show it, uh, turn it around this, this direction. What you want to do is you want to disconnect the power cable, the SATA, and this is for the optical drive. Now you need to slide the optical drive by pushing the green and then push it towards yourself. So push it this way. And then once you push it towards yourself, you can actually slide optical drive towards your body. Once you have done that, the next step you like to do is to remove the front panel right here. Go ahead and lift slightly on that three little latch. So once you lift it up, you can slide the front cover towards your body, towards yourself, and that's how you remove the front panel. Once you have removed the front panel, go ahead and find the screw. And the screw is right in the middle right here. You need to remove that screw. Once you remove that screw, let's go ahead and get this cable out of the way. And you want to open up the, uh, the bracket to your right and then slide it out. Again, it's a three little latch and this thing slide into the, uh, the corner right here. All right. Once you have all of that being done, let's go ahead and disconnect the cable. This one right here, you can just pull it straight up. There's no clipper or anything. You can just pull it straight up here. We have a clipper four pin connector. You need to press that little clipper and then pull it straight up again. And finally, the last cable right here, press the clipper and slide it straight up. Now, once you have all that cables removed, let's go ahead and disconnect. Um, I mean, remove this cable right here. Just be careful with the Wi-Fi. I kind of accidentally pulled the Wi-Fi connector. So this is the connector right here, the little gold, uh, tiny little stuff. Let's go ahead and reconnect back to your Wi-Fi. All 
Okay, once you have done removing this three cable, the two four pin connectors, and this little um, thing right here, you want to come back and remove the screw. So there are three screws, one, two, three, holding onto the power supply. Let's go ahead and remove them. Once I have removed that three screws, you want to press the clipper right on this side here, press it down and slide it to your left. That's how you remove the power supply. Now, if you're not sure where to buy the power supply or which model or the correct power supply to buy, what I'll do is I'll link them in the description below. Go check it out. Probably you can get them from Amazon, if not eBay. So if you take a closer look right here, you can see that it says model PCH023 or the part number that says L08261-004. And make sure when you buy the power supply, you have the matching cables, that the cable is one is shorter the one in the middle and then here is the longest compared to this little green and black cable all right so this is the broken power supply i find myself a replacement power supply here it's the exact same part and i'll be installing this working power supply versus the broken power supply all right let's move this on the side so let's go ahead and slide the new power supply in. Oops, I forgot to remove the screws. It came with the screws. We are not using these screws. So let's go ahead and remove it. All right, let's go ahead and slide the power supply back in. Once you slide it in, let's go ahead and put the screws back. There are three screws. All right, once you have all the three screws installed, the next step is you like to go ahead and reconnect the cable. So for this one, the green, the gray, and the black, you want to face it to the right the most. And then the one has nothing on top, you want to face it to the left. All right, so this is how the motherboard looks like. And you want to go ahead and connect just like that. The colored wires are all to your right. The non wires are on the left. Now let's go ahead and align them in the right position. That's how they like to be installed. Let's go ahead and do that. Now this middle cable here, the shorter ones, the clipper, you see that little clipper right here, face to your left. Okay. And then this little clipper right here, face to your right. And that's how you install it. All right, once you have installed all that, let's go ahead and turn it around. Slide this thing back in. Align the three little Once you slide it in first at 45 degree angle and let's press it down to lock it. Remember to put the screws back in the front. Once you have done that, you 
you want to go ahead and install the um, the front panel. So this is the front panel here. Line it up at the bottom first. Line it up with all the USB. This is where all your USBs are. So line it up here first with the front panel. Once you have lined them up in the right position, and you can go ahead and press it in. So this three little clipper would lock it. Okay, once you have lined up, once you've installed the front panel, let's go ahead and slide the optical drive all the way in and, and you can hear that little click. Once that is done, go ahead and install the power on the right side and then the SATA cable on the left. Do not forget this black little support, slide it in at 45 degree angle, push it down, find your one screw, Go ahead and install the tiny screws. Turn the desktop on the side. Get your side panel. Put it in and then slide it to your left. Push it all the way in. And final one screw to lock it in. All right, so there you have it. This is how we remove and replace the power supply. And yeah, so for those of you, if the HP computer doesn't turn on, or if you notice that there was a power outage the night before and the next day, you try to turn on the computer and it stopped working, then you obviously know that something happened at home. Maybe there was a heavy rain or heavy storm and somewhat, you know, burn out the power supply. So if the computer doesn't turn turn on, if the desktop doesn't turn on, the first thing I like to do is to uh, check the power supply or to replace the power supply. Or maybe when you open up the side panel, you want to smell. You want to stick a smell on the power supply or smell the motherboard. See if you can smell any burn smell. Um, any electronic that was burned, you can obviously smell them because they're very strong um, plasticky smell burn smell and if it's coming from the motherboard forget it you you know there's no work replacing the motherboard but if it's coming from the power supply something like this may cost like forty dollars and change it out there you have your computer repaired i mean fix all right so i hope you learned something today and if you uh, find this video is helpful please go ahead and give me a like and comment below let me know if you are able to follow along my video and get your power supply change until next time take care i hope you learned something today bye now